Have you ever wondered how aesthetics could affect the way you interact with a video game? While aesthetics plays a major role in immersing you in a game, immersion is not the only thing it can influence. It can also change the way you play games entirely. For example, a game like Prey allows room for creativity and different playstyles, but due to its unique aesthetics, it creates a lot of tension, causing some players to take a more cautious approach during their first playthrough. Therefore, to benefit gameplay, most games utilize aesthetics differently. The same principle applies to Mirror's Edge as well. This game stood out from the crowd both for its gameplay and visual aesthetics, but how did it manage to achieve that status? To answer that, we must travel back in time to an era when DICE was still developing its parkour adventure. Back in 2006, when Mirror's Edge was nothing but a few prototype ideas, DICE wanted to break new ground. The team was ambitious and wanted to create something unique, something that anyone could immediately recognize. This new title was going to push boundaries, a first-person, free-running game with a new take on player movement. Most importantly, this game was going to have very little focus on shooter elements. In that era, this idea alone sounded like madness to some, but DICE moved forward with it regardless. To achieve their vision, the creators of the Battlefield series needed the proper foundation for building the game. Their in-house technology, known as Frostbite Engine, wasn't quite ready during the development of Mirror's Edge, so they opted to use Unreal Engine 3 instead. This engine had better support for the advanced rendering techniques, new lighting solutions, and complex physics the game required. With everything in place, Mirror's Edge's distinctive art style managed to make the game stand out. The minimalist aesthetics were amplified with the excessive use of neutral colors, immaculate environments, and minimal to no clutter. The city in which the game takes place looks to be inspired by real-life locations such as Hong Kong and Singapore. It's filled with skyscrapers and construction sites, and while some missions take place at indoor or underground locations, for the majority of time rooftops are your main playground. Occasionally, the peaceful and serene environments are disrupted with striking colors to purposefully grab your attention and give you a hint of where to go next. This clever use of simplistic environments, coupled with dashing colors, is used to increase the gameplay pacing. DICE didn't want you to stand idle and look around for clues to figure out your destination. They wanted to relay the information quickly to avoid any slowdowns. To achieve the latter properly, the developers implemented a mechanic called Runner Vision. By utilizing the cool color palette of the game, Runner Vision guides your eyes toward the warm color of the interactable objects. So first, by using a unique color, the game signals where you must travel to, and then highlights stuff in a contrasting color in advance to help you figure out the puzzle platforming sections before reaching them. Essentially, Mirror's Edge's deliberate use of colors creates significant psychological effects. The predominant use of white throughout the game evokes a sense of cleanness, order, and control, reflecting the game's dystopian city where surveillance and regulation are paramount. To maintain player engagement, bright and contrasting colors add visual interest and aid in differentiating locations and objectives. Finally, red is used to highlight navigational cues and also creates a sense of urgency and focus, keeping the player alert. DICE designed this game on a mission-based structure, so while the levels are limited in scope, the developers had more freedom to handcraft every single detail and achieve their intended design. To keep the game's minimalist aesthetics intact, the team unleashed their creativity and decided to remove any sort of heads-up display elements such as GPS or markers from the screen. To avoid confusing players, shapes play an important role in every scene. Once you enter a level, the building shapes create a frame, guiding your eyes toward a specific area while providing an overview of the level. Then, with the smart use of colors, you'll immediately notice where your destination is. But to reach your objective, you need to traverse a challenge course. Here is where the striking lines formed by different structures create inconsistencies in the architecture, which in combination with runner vision, grab your attention quickly and guarantee fluid navigation. 
All of this happens naturally within the level without breaking the immersion, something the unique aesthetics of the game enhances immensely. Additionally, the proper use of sound design plays a significant role in immersing players, ultimately affecting the way you interact with the world. The city ambience adds a special characteristic to each level, making the environments sound as calm and peaceful as they look. Each level is usually accompanied by a relaxing ambient soundtrack to help you focus and avoid distractions. However, this tranquility doesn't last very long, as commotion always follows Faith wherever she goes. Other than creating the proper mood and atmosphere, the occasional siren noises, gunfire, choppers, and other sounds augment the storytelling aspects of the game. Since you're usually running at a high speed and won't be standing still to look around, these audio cues help you understand what's happening without taking control away from you. This approach maintains pacing. These noises coupled with the more intense music playing during chases and other action sequences encourage you to run faster and figure out the quickest way to lose your pursuers and solve puzzle platforming sections, as a slowing down means defeat. Mirror's Edge demonstrates that aesthetics are more than just a visual treat. They can fundamentally shape the way you play. The game leverages its minimalist art style through the smart use of neutral and contrasting colors to create a distinct sense of place and purpose. The strategic use of the color red guides players creating a sense of urgency and ensuring fluid navigation. Moreover, the shapes and lines in the game's architecture direct the player's focus and movement, resulting in enhanced overall gameplay. The auditory elements, from the tranquil ambience of the cityscape to the tension-filled sounds of pursuits, complement the visuals by setting the tone and mood. This thoughtful integration keeps players responsive and engaged, ultimately affecting their gameplay style and decisions. By combining these visual and auditory elements, Mirror's Edge proves that aesthetics can significantly influence gameplay. As Bertolt Brecht, the 20th century poet, aptly put it, Art is not a mirror held up to reality, but a hammer with which to shape it. And Mirror's Edge achieves this by transforming a simple parkour adventure into an immersive experience that leaves a lasting impact on its players. The deliberate design choices, from color schemes to architectural shapes, and the seamless integration of sound demonstrates how aesthetics can be a powerful tool in shaping gameplay. This thoughtful integration of aesthetics and gameplay is what makes the game stand out, even years after its release. And on a personal note, I really hope DICE remasters this game so more gamers get the chance to experience it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Till the next one, I'm the Folk, signing out.